first of all, thank you so much. And uh, what an extraordinary um, role to be taken on. I absolutely adore Doreen. And was it difficult to find sort of a way of playing like a real life character? And sort of how much research did you do? In uh, yeah, I felt very. I felt very daunted when I when I um, was given the opportunity to play this part. She uh, was a woman who made such a fantastic contribution to the world, had never sought any attention for herself, uh, and you know has sadly passed. So you know is not here to sort of. Um, to, to tell us how she would like to be memorialized. So I felt a huge responsibility to depict her accurately and in a way that she would have, have been happy with. Um, but luckily, um, she uh, collect, uh, she she wrote quite um, uh, full, full diaries of her time in the war. So uh, those are um, available to read. And then also her, uh, her nephew wrote a book about her. Um, but she's not a well-known historical figure. So I had to sort of seek out those, those documents. But I was, I was very lucky because particularly her, her diaries in the war, she, you know, while, while she was working for the British Committee of Refugees, you know, her, her entire time in that period was really well described. So she was talking about, you know, fundraising, obviously battling the kind of instinct because of the unemployment in Britain against the refugees coming to the country. So having to manage that on the one hand, also the practical problems of helping people who were, you know, desperate and didn't have winter coats. And and then also, you know, she was a woman living in Prague in the 1930s, so like having her hair done. And, you know, so I had a really amazing insight into her, into who she was from her diaries. Yeah. But I think the way you play her is like a sort of a superwoman, sort of no-nonsense. I'm really interested in knowing... Um, whether did you work closely with the screenwriter to sort of represent her or did you find that that's how you wanted to play her? I mean, I've worked with Lucinda who wrote the script for this before and um, everything that I uh, felt about... Some, sometimes you read a script and then you go back to the source material and they are not in sync and then you have to kind of work out why that is and where you fall on that. Um when I read the script, I just completely fell in love with the way that, that Lucinda had written her. She's, you know, so funny, so quick, um, so clever, as you say, so sort of no nonsense and um, um, such a force. And then when I went back to the source material, there was complete synchronicity there. So, um, yeah, it was it was it was wonderful to, to say her words again. How much did you know about Sir Nicholas uh, before taking on the, the role? Had you been aware of Obviously, everyone knows the kinder transport, but did you know anything about his life? Not really, no. I'd read perhaps maybe one article. I was aware of his name in a sort of vague sense, and I had seen the clip. Um, but uh, I, I think the, the, the sort of specifics of what they actually achieved were completely un unknown to me and to, to most people, as I understand it, largely because the people involved never wanted anyone to know about what what they'd achieved um and so it was a lot of finding out um how incredibly difficult it was to get visas for all of these children and to battle the considerable opposition in the country at the time to bringing refugees to britain before the war yeah uh, there, are, uh, unfortunately, I mean, your film is coming out at the same time as there is this absolutely hor horrific sort of going on in, you know, international events. And um, it's kind of a bittersweet, but it's also, I guess, from your standpoint, a way of showcasing the importance of looking after refugees. How does that feel to you? Yes, I mean, sadly, um, I've, I've been involved in a, in a few projects that have de depicted um World War Two and the aftermath of, of the Holocaust, and so I, I've sort of, and I've, uh, this film is we've partnered with the International Rescue Committee, who is a refugee-based charity before. So I've had the opportunity to um, be part of projects which have interacted with this subject matter before, but I don't think ever this much, this powerfully, um, how deeply the people who were involved in, in this transport of children believed in the importance of individuals and the contribution that every individual can make, the potential in every human being to transform the society that they're in, no matter where they're from. You know, my family were refugees to this country. You know, any family um, that comes from anywhere can change your country for the better. There's just so much potential in that. And I hope the film is a real testament to that, at a time when, you know, feelings of, of, of fear, I think, really can 
can dominate people's lives. I just think I, I'm a really big fan of your acting, obviously, but I'm also a big fan of your direction. Oh. And I think I want to finish off by asking you uh, if there are any plans for you to be directing again and how does it feel to sort of go back into acting after having made a, f- a film as a director? I have a lot of other films <laughs> which I've written and like I'm trying to make. I, I really want to make more films. It's You know, that's my great passion. It's it's very hard. I mean, it's always been hard, but it's really hard at the moment. I had a film that was supposed to go this year and then didn't, and other projects which are supposed to go next year, and the, the avenues to, to make films are just closing and every, every year, and sometimes it feels like you know, what's the point? And then, you know, you get to be involved in a project like this and you remember the power of cinema to really change things. So I'm hoping to make more films, um, definitely. Uh, And I certainly have enough screenplays. (laughs) So that's not a problem. Um, And yeah, in a short answer to your question, I'm a much happier actor. Now, I think I always wanted to be involved in the creation of the stories. And, And for the first kind of 10 years of my career I think I loved acting but I felt somewhat unfulfilled by it as well so I I feel like when I go to work now I can just give myself completely to the experience of being an actor and and enjoy not having to worry about (laughs) where the trucks are or how much light you have you know I can really give into that feeling of 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 powerlessness in a much more kind of positive way because I you know I get I get to do the writing and directing as well wonderful thank you so much and I can't Wait for your next um, director. Oh, thank project. you. Yeah, thank thanks you. very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey you guys. Hey, <laughs> that's what they all say. Hey you guys. Hey you guys.